In the area of mathematics known as functional analysis, a reflexive space is a Banach space or more generally a locally convex topological vector space that coincides with the continuous dual of its continuous dual space, both as linear space and as topological space. Reflexive Banach spaces are often characterized by their geometric properties. Topic: Reflexive Banach spaces. Suppose x display style x is a normed vector space over the number field f equals r display style math b f equals math b r or F equals C display style math b f equals math b c the real or complex numbers with a norm display style c d o t consider its dual normed space x display style x that consists of all continuous linear functionals f x f display style f x to math b f and is equipped with the dual norm display style c d o t defined by f equals sup f x x element of x x equals 1 display style f equals sup f x x in x x equals 1 the dual x display style x is a normed space a banach space to be precise and its dual normed space x equals x display style x equals x is called bijual space for x display style x the bijual consists of all continuous linear functionals h x f display style h x to math b f and is equipped with the norm display style c d o t dual to display style c d o t each vector x element of x Display style x in x generates a scalar function j x x f display style j x x two math b f by the formula j x f equals f x f element of x display style j x f equals f x q quad f in x and j x display style j x is a continuous linear functional on x display style x i e j x element of x display style j x in x one obtains in this way a map j x x display style j x to x called evaluation map that is linear it follows from the Hahn-Banach theorem that j 
Display style J is injective and preserves norms X element of X J X equals X Display style for all X in X Q quad J X equals X I E J Display style J maps X display style X isometrically onto its image J X display style J X in X display style X furthermore the image J X Display style J X is closed in X. Display style X, but it need not be equal to X. Display style X. A normed space X. Display style X is called reflexive if it satisfies the following equivalent conditions i the evaluation map j x x display style j x to x is surjective e the evaluation map j x x Display style J X to X is an isometric isomorphism of normed spaces. E the evaluation map J X X display style J X to X is an isomorphism of normed spaces, a reflexive space X display style X is a Banach space since x display style x is then isometric to the Banach space x display style x topic remark A Banach space X is reflexive if it is linearly isometric to its bijoule under this canonical embedding J. James's space is an example of a non-reflexive space which is linearly isometric to its bijoule. Furthermore, the image of James's space under the canonical embedding J has codimension 1 in its bijoule. A Banach space X is called quasi-reflexive of order D if the quotient X J X has finite dimension D. Topic examples 1 Every finite dimensional normed space is reflexive simply because in this case the space its dual and bijoule all have the same linear dimension hence the linear injection J from the definition is bijective by the rank nullity theorem 2 the Banach space C0 of scalar sequences tending to 0 at infinity equipped with the supremum norm is not reflexive it follows from the general properties below that 1 and infinity are not reflexive, because 1 is isomorphic to the dual of C0, and infinity is isomorphic to the dual of 1, 3. All Hilbert spaces are reflexive, as are the LP spaces for 1, 4. The spaces S P H of operators in the Shatton class on a Hilbert space H are uniformly convex, hence reflexive, when 1. When the dimension of H is infinite, then sulfur monohydride the trace class is not reflexive, because it contains a subspace isomorphic to 1, and S infinity H equals L H the bounded linear operators on H is not reflexive because it contains a subspace isomorphic to infinity 
In both cases, the subspace can be chosen to be the operator's diagonal with respect to a given orthonormal basis of H. Equals. Topic. Properties. Equals. If a Banach space Y is isomorphic to a reflexive Banach space X, then Y is reflexive. Every closed linear subspace of a reflexive space is reflexive. The continuous dual of a reflexive space is reflexive. Every quotient of a reflexive space by a closed subspace is reflexive. Let X be a Banach space. The following are equivalent. The space X is reflexive. The continuous dual of X is reflexive. The closed unit ball of X is compact in the weak topology, this is known as Kakutani's theorem. Every bounded sequence in X has a weakly convergent subsequence. Every continuous linear functional on X attains its maximum on the closed unit ball in X James's theorem since norm closed convex subsets in a Banach space are weakly closed. It follows from the third property that closed bounded convex subsets of a reflexive space X are weakly compact. Thus, for every decreasing sequence of non-empty closed bounded convex subsets of X, the intersection is non-empty. As a consequence, every continuous convex function f on a closed convex subset C of X, such that the set C T equals X element of C f x t display style c underscore t equals x in c f x l e q t is non-empty and bounded for some real number t attains its minimum value on c. The promised geometric property of reflexive Banach spaces is the following, if C is a closed non-empty convex subset of the reflexive space X, then for every X in X there exists a C in C such that X minus C minimizes the distance between X and points of C. This follows from the preceding result for convex functions, applied to F y equals E minus X. Note that while the minimal distance between X and C is uniquely defined by X, the point C is not. The closest point C is unique when X is uniformly convex. A reflexive Banach space is separable if and only if its continuous dual is separable. This follows from the fact that for every normed space Y, separability of the continuous dual Y implies separability of Y. Topic super reflexive space Informally, a super reflexive Banach space X has the following property Given an arbitrary Banach space Y, if all finite dimensional subspaces of Y have a very similar copy sitting somewhere in X, then Y must be reflexive. By this definition, the space X itself must be reflexive. As an elementary example, every Banach space Y whose two-dimensional subspaces are isometric to subspaces of X equals 2 satisfies the parallelogram law, hence E is a Hilbert space, therefore Y is reflexive. So 2 is super-reflexive. The formal definition does not use isometries, but almost isometries. A Banach space Y is finitely representable in a Banach space X if for every finite dimensional subspace Y0 of Y and every epsilon greater than 0, there is a subspace X0 of X such that the multiplicative Banach Mazur distance between X0 and Y0 satisfies D X0, Y0 1 plus epsilon, display style D X underscore 0 Y underscore zero a Banach space finitely representable in two as a Hilbert space. 
Every Banach space is finitely representable in C0. The space Lp is finitely representable in P. A Banach space X is super-reflexive if all Banach spaces Y finitely representable in X are reflexive, or, in other words, if no non-reflexive space Y is finitely representable in X the notion of ultraproduct of a family of Banach spaces allows for a concise definition, the Banach space X is super-reflexive when its ultrapowers are reflexive. James proved that a space is super-reflexive if and only if its dual is super-reflexive. <laughs> <laughs> Finite trees in Banach spaces One of James's characterizations of super-reflexivity uses the growth of separated trees. The description of a vectorial binary tree begins with a rooted binary tree labeled by vectors, a tree of height n in a Banach space X as a family of 2n plus 1 minus 1 vectors of X, that can be organized in successive levels, starting with level 0 that consists of a single vector X, the root of the tree, followed, for k equals 1, n, by a family of 2k vectors forming level k. X epsilon one epsilon k epsilon j equals plus or minus one j equals one k Display style x underscore var epsilon underscore one l dots var epsilon underscore k quad var epsilon underscore j equals p m one quad j equals one l dots k that are the children of vertices of level k minus one. In addition to the tree structure, it is required here that each vector that is an internal vertex of the tree be the midpoint between its two children, x equals x1 plus x minus 1 2, x epsilon 1, epsilon k equals x epsilon 1, epsilon k, 1 plus x epsilon 1, epsilon k, minus 1 2, 1 k n, display style x underscore empty set equals frac x underscore 1 plus x underscore minus 1 2 quad x underscore var epsilon underscore 1 l dots var epsilon underscore k equals frac x underscore var epsilon underscore 1 l dots var epsilon underscore k 1 plus x underscore var epsilon underscore 1 l dots var epsilon underscore k Minus one two quad one L E Q K. Given a positive real number T, the tree is said to be T separated if for every internal vertex, the two children are T separated in the given space norm, x1 minus x minus 1 T, x epsilon 1, epsilon K, 1 minus x epsilon 1, epsilon K, minus 1 T, 1 K N, display style, x underscore 1, x underscore minus 1, G E Q T. T quad x underscore var epsilon underscore one L dots var epsilon underscore K one x underscore var epsilon underscore one L dots var epsilon underscore K minus one G E Q T quad one L E Q K theorem the Banach space X is super reflexive if and only if for every t element of 0, 2, there is a number n t such that every t separated tree contained in the unit ball of X has height less than n t. Uniformly convex spaces are super reflexive. Let X be uniformly convex, with modulus of convexity delta X and let t be a real number in 0, 2. 
By the properties of the modulus of convexity, a t-separated tree of height n, contained in the unit ball, must have all points of level n-1 contained in the ball of radius 1 minus delta x t. By induction, it follows that all points of level n minus j are contained in the ball of radius 1 minus delta x t j j equals 1 n. Display style 1 delta underscore x t caret j j equals 1 l dots n. If the height n was so large that 1 minus delta x t n minus 1 t 2 display style 1 delta underscore x t caret n 1, then the two points x 1 x minus 1 of the first level could not be t separated, contrary to the assumption. This gives the required bound n t function of delta x t only. Using the tree characterization, inflow proved that super-reflexive Banach spaces admit an equivalent uniformly convex norm. Trees in a Banach space are a special instance of vector-valued martingales. Adding techniques from scalar martingale theory, Pizier improved in flow's result by showing that a super-reflexive space X admits an equivalent uniformly convex norm for which the modulus of convexity satisfies, for some constant c greater than zero and some real number q2, delta x t c t q t element of zero two display style delta underscore x t g e q c t caret q quad t in zero two topic reflexive locally convex spaces The notion of reflexive Banach space can be generalized to topological vector spaces in the following way. Let x be a topological vector space over a number field f of real numbers r Display style math b r or complex numbers c display style math b c consider its strong dual space x beta display style x underscore beta which consists of all continuous linear functionals f x F display style f x to math b f and is equipped with the strong topology beta x x display style beta x x i.e. the topology of uniform convergence on bounded subsets in x display style x the space x beta display style x underscore beta is a topological vector space to be more precise a locally convex space so one can consider its strong dual space x beta beta display style x underscore beta underscore beta which is called the strong visual space for x display style x it consists of all continuous linear functionals h x beta f display style h x underscore beta 2 math b f and is equipped with the strong topology beta x beta x beta display style beta x underscore beta x underscore beta each vector x 
element of x display style x in x generates a map j x x beta f Display style J x x underscore beta to math B F by the following formula J x F equals F x F element of x Display style j x f equals f x q quad f in x. This is a continuous linear functional on x beta. Display style x underscore beta, i.e. j x element of x beta beta. Display style j x in x underscore beta underscore beta. One obtains a map called evaluation map j x x beta beta. Display style j x to x underscore beta underscore beta. This map is linear. If x display style x is locally convex from the hahn banach theorem it follows that j display style j is injective and open ie for each neighborhood of 0 u display style u in x display style x there is a neighborhood of zero v display style v in x beta beta display style x underscore beta underscore beta such that j u v j x Display style j u subset v cap j x, but it can be non-surjective and/or discontinuous. A locally convex space x display style x is called semi-reflexive if the evaluation map j x x Beta, beta, display style j x to x underscore beta underscore beta is surjective, reflexive if the evaluation map j x x beta beta Display style j x to x underscore beta underscore beta is surjective and continuous. In this case, j display style j is an isomorphism of topological vector spaces theorem. A locally convex Hausdorff space x display style x is semi reflexive if and only if x display style x with the sigma x x display style sigma x x caret asterisk topology has the heine borel property i e weakly closed and bounded subsets of x Display style x are weakly compact. Theorem: A locally convex space x display style x is reflexive if and only if it is semi-reflexive and barreled. Theorem: 
the strong dual of a semireflexive space is barreled. Topic examples. One. Every finite dimensional Hausdorff topological vector space is reflexive, because J is bijective by linear algebra, and because there is a unique Hausdorff vector space topology on a finite dimensional vector space. 2. A normed space X is is reflexive as a normed space if and only if it is reflexive as a locally convex space. This follows from the fact that for a normed space X X its dual normed space X X coincides as a topological vector space with the strong dual space X beta display style X underscore beta as a corollary the evaluation map J X X display style J X to X coincides with the evaluation map J X X Beta Beta Display style J, x to x underscore beta underscore beta and the following conditions become equivalent I x Display style x is a reflexive normed space, i.e. J x x Display style J x to x is an isomorphism of normed spaces E x display style x is a reflexive locally convex space, i.e. J x x beta beta Display style J, x to x underscore beta underscore beta is an isomorphism of topological vector spaces E x display style x is a semi reflexive locally convex space, i.e. J x x beta Beta display style j x to x underscore beta underscore beta is surjective point three a somewhat artificial example of a semi-reflexive space that is not reflexive is obtained as follows: Let y be an infinite dimensional reflexive Banach space, and let x be the topological vector space y sigma y y that is the vector space y equipped with the weak topology. Then the continuous dual of x and y are the same set of functionals, and bounded subsets of x i.e., weakly bounded subsets of y are norm-bounded, hence the Banach space y is the strong dual of x since y is reflexive, the continuous dual of x equals y is equal to the image j x of x under the canonical embedding j, but the topology on x the weak topology of y is is not the strong topology beta x x that is equal to the norm topology of y. Four Montel spaces are reflexive locally convex topological vector spaces. In particular, the following functional spaces frequently used in functional analysis are reflexive locally convex spaces. The space C. Infinity M display style c caret nft M of smooth functions on arbitrary real smooth manifold M display style M 
and its strong dual space c infinity m display style c caret nft m of distributions with compact support on m display style m the space d m display style math call d m of smooth functions with compact support on arbitrary real smooth manifold m display style m and its strong dual space d m display style math call d m of distributions on m display style m the space o m display style math call o m of holomorphic functions on arbitrary complex manifold m display style m and its strong dual space o m display style math call o m of analytic functionals on m display style m the schwartz space S R N display style math call S math B R carrot N on R N display style math B R carrot N and its strong dual space S R N Display style math call s math b r caret n of tempered distributions on r n display style math b r caret n topic stereotype spaces and other versions of reflexivity. Among all locally convex spaces even among all Banach spaces used in functional analysis the class of reflexive spaces is too narrow to represent a self-sufficient category in any sense. On the other hand, the idea of duality reflected in this notion is so natural that it gives rise to intuitive expectations that appropriate changes in the definition of reflexivity can lead to another notion, more convenient for some goals of mathematics. One of such goals is the idea of approaching analysis to the other parts of mathematics, like algebra and geometry, by reformulating its results in the purely algebraic language of category theory. This program is being worked out in the theory of stereotype spaces, which are defined as topological vector spaces satisfying a similar condition of reflexivity, but with the topology of uniform convergence on totally bounded subsets instead of bounded subsets in the definition of dual space X. More precisely, a topological vector space X Display style x is called stereotype if the evaluation map into the stereotype second dual space J x x J x f equals f x x element of x F element of x display style j x to x caret star star quad j x f equals f x quad x in x quad f in x caret star is an isomorphism of topological vector spaces. Here the stereotype dual space x. Display style x caret star 
is defined as the space of continuous linear functionals x display style x endowed with the topology of uniform convergence on totally bounded sets in x display style x and the stereotype second dual space x display style x caret star star is the space dual to x display style x caret star in the same sense in contrast to the classical reflexive spaces the class STE of stereotype spaces is very wide it contains, in particular, all Frechet spaces and thus, all Banach spaces, it forms a closed monoidal category, and it admits standard operations defined inside of STE of constructing new spaces, like taking closed subspaces, quotient spaces, projective and injective limits, the space of operators, tensor products, etc. The category STE have applications in duality theory for non-commutative groups. Similarly, one can replace the class of bounded and totally bounded subsets in X in the definition of dual space X, by other classes of subsets, for example, by the class of compact subsets in X. The spaces defined by the corresponding reflexivity condition are called reflective, and they form an even wider class than STE, but it is not clear 2012, whether this class forms a category with properties similar similar to those of STE. See also A generalization which has some of the properties of reflexive spaces and includes many spaces of practical importance is the concept of Grothendieck space. Reflexive operator algebra equals equals notes